Of late, there has been a lot of discussion in our industry about abdominal deformities in shrimp. In this video, I am going to share the information I have gathered on this topic. Some other points are scientifically proven, while others are based on my personal experience. If you have any further information on this topic, please let us know through the comment box. Before delving into the topic, allow me to provide a brief introduction about myself. My name is Dr. Amarinani Ravikumar and I am an aquatic animal health specialist. I am also a partner at Alpha Biologicals, a prominent manufacturer of probiotics and aquatic animal health care products in India. Now let us get back to our topic. I am aware of nine reasons for shrimp abdominal deformities at the time of making this video. In West Bengal, farmers call this condition as handicap shrimp. Shrimp with deformities tend to fetch relatively less prices. Among the nine reasons, the first reason is ASDD, Abdominal Segment Deformity Disease. This is a viral disease that has not been reported in India so far. The second reason is IHHNV, Infectious Hypodermal and Hematopoietic Necrotic Virus. This virus is present in India and shrimp ponds affected with IHHNV may exhibit deformities mainly in the rostrum region and sometimes in the entire body. Shrimp with IHHNV infection also show high size variation and poor growth. The third reason is genetic deformities which cannot be controlled either at the hatchery level or farm level. Sometimes shrimp with genetic deformities can grow normally despite their deformities. The fourth reason is use of brood stock for longer periods, especially during the last spawnings. Although this was reported in a government organization's newsletter, this is not scientifically proven. During the early days of anime shrimp farming, many hatcheries used brood stock for extended periods without producing seeds with deformities at the farm level. The fifth reason is inbreeding. Deformities in humans have also been reported as a result of inbreeding. Nowadays, most broodstock suppliers follow strict genetic programs to prevent inbreeding. The sixth reason is deformities in the seed itself, regardless of the cause. These deformities can be observed while testing the seed or by observing them under a microscope. If the deformities are significant, that particular batch of seed can be rejected. The seventh reason is pesticide residue. I have noticed several cases where pesticide residues has been linked to deformities. Shrimp survival rate is also significantly reduced when pesticide residues are present. The eighth reason is molting problems, which can be attributed to mineral imbalances and sometimes heavy metal toxicity. The ninth and final reason is hatchery handling. For instance, if a hatchery shifts post larvae at PL4 or 5 to another section, deformities has been noticed. Similarly, if a hatchery shifts early PL from one location to another hatchery, more deformities has been reported. Interestingly, there are no or relatively fewer deformities in the first hatchery and very high deformities in the hatchery that received early post larvae for nursing. This may be due to mishandling of the seed during molting. Please note that this point is based on my personal experience. Please feel free to comment or share your experiences. For further information, please reach out to me via email at raviacquire.gmail.com or contact me on WhatsApp at 9848-6776. Thanks for watching. All the best.